Hi right, guys, we are working now on a Mercedes E-Class. Um, it's the 213 model. A um, little bit of background story about this vehicle. Um, this shop uh, called me three weeks ago if I uh, could drive by the place and uh, enable the 48 volt battery again as uh, this car has been in an accident. Um, so I drove to the shop um, and I, uh, I found that the fuse, the pyro fuse was, uh, was blown. So um, I told them uh, in order to enable the battery again, they had to replace the, uh, the fuse again. Um, that's what they have done. Um, I had communication, of I could communicate with the 48 volt battery at that moment. Uh, a few days later, I um, I uh, went back to the shop uh, to enable the battery, and since then we lost communication with the 48 volt battery. Um, so I'm not sure what went wrong there. Uh, I double checked the work. Um, the fuse is in its place. Nothing wrong with that. So uh, today we did the diagnostic on the battery to check uh, if um, if there was communication. Yeah, with the red battery light, which means there is a problem with the with the 48 volt system, um, and of course we have a no start condition. Yeah, we have a sensory hooked up, and let's see what our fault codes are. I already did the pre-scan. And here the module in, in blue. This should be uh, the 48 volt battery. It's a G1-3. Uh, the master is the N83-1. It's a DC-DC converter, which also store, stores fault codes for the 48 volt battery. Uh, let's try to communicate with it. Probably won't work. Sorry for the Dutch language, but uh, it basically tells us uh, it's unable to communicate with the battery. So we went into the wiring diagram. And to the pin out on the plug on the battery, which is this one where I already have the scope hooked up. Uh, this is the connector for the DC-DC converter. That works as it should. And uh, we're gonna test these signals right here. So this is our pin out on the 48 volt battery. Uh, we're gonna test all these wires here. Uh, we, need a, we need a ground on pin number one. Pin number two and three aren't used. Pin number four, we have battery voltage. Pin number five is a Limbus communication signal wire that runs from the battery to the DC-DC converter. On pin number six, we need an ignition power. Uh, pin number eight, also we need battery voltage. Um, got the scope already hooked up. It's right now in Pin number four, which which means we need um, at least 12 volts. Right now I have the battery support hooked up, so it will probably will be a bit higher. I expect around 13 and a half volts. Um, so this is the connector to the uh, battery, the 48 volt battery. This connector right here is a connector on the DC DC converter but we don't have a problem with the converter, so we're only gonna test the battery. So right now we are connected on pin number four. Uh, we should see at least 12 volts, uh, like I told you before. It's now on battery support, so it's just a little bit higher. 
uh, we're gonna move uh, now to pin number six it's the uh, 15 pin so that means we also need battery voltage on that pin Pin number six, also good. We move over to pin number eight, which is our last power. Also tested good. Sorry, there was me. Uh, last pin is the Limbus wire. It's on number five. So. so what we see here is the DC, DC converter talking, of trying to talk to the 48 volt battery, but um, it's, it's not entering. Um, that's why we have uh, no communication with the 48 volt battery. We now know the wire is good. It is able to communicate on that wire. So we call the battery and uh, that's what we're gonna replace now. So we got the battery replaced. All the cables and connector connectors are in their place. Um, this is how the battery looks like. The DC DC converter is on top of this one. We swapped that one over. And uh, now let's try if we can communicate with the battery. Let's run the scan one more time. And we have communication with the battery. Um, the car won't start yet. Uh, we need to program the battery. Uh, right now we are connected wireless. I'm gonna plug in a cable in the interface because when we do programming, we don't want a wireless connection. Just in case it fails during programming, it can, um, it can damage the battery. So I'm gonna plug in a cable and uh, we are right, we are right back. finished programming um, as you can see here we have the 48 volt battery and we have no code stored um, so let's have a look if it will start Our malfunction light is gone. And it starts right up. Great. Which means our job is done. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you next time.